now for the last five, 10 years, right? You will see more and more organizations where people with two years experience, three years experience, four years experience in the corporate world, or even no experience in the corporate world are saying that we'll take on the challenges on the, of the social sector and let's build something, right? To me, that is the fundamental difference. Uh, the, the, the crux of it is this, that the nature of people who are kind of building these organizations. And that has multiple uh, implications, right? For example, somebody who's kind of starting fresh or, or just has very limited experience in the corporate world and building a social sector organization, you are learning on the job. Your professional growth is also happening while you are building an organization or are part of an organization. I think that's one thing. Then by definition, probably uh, because of the ecosystem, otherwise these people, are, I would also assume are more uh, risk takers, right? That's why they've chosen the path of, of spending the peak of their professional life in this domain. The entire evolution in technology has opened a whole new solution options, which never even existed earlier. Newer organizations tend to be impact focused from a very scientific point of view. I think there's definitely a strong focus now in your organizations um, to really invest in people. Think of, you know, like if they're early career professionals, to think of them as, uh, you think of your organization as a place where an early career professional is coming, feeling the responsibility that, you know, better do a decent job because they have like 40 years of their career ahead of them once they leave your organization. So you better ensure that, you know, they, you know, you're kind of preparing them for the world, even if they go on and do something completely different. Um, and that emphasis, again, I think is quite strong, which of course really relates a lot to um, uh, the topics that we're, we're discussing today as well. So the world is changing and people who are creating solutions in social space, which is much more complicated, needs to be aware that that's perhaps how we also may have to organize. And inherently, we all do. We're never going to work with only people we have complete control over. We're going to work with governments. Uh, we're lucky that we're not in Bangladesh, where an NGO needs to do everything. We don't need to build a BRAC here. All of us are kind of creating a solution which can have a proof, which eventually will ride a system. So we'll invariably have to know how to organize with not only people who we have complete control over, how to create a solution which works in different contexts with different organizations, which is collaborative. So that's one big point. Because the world is changing the way they're organizing. We also need to kind of understand that bit and that processes. Second, obviously, it's a gig economy. Uh, a large number of us will invariably work with millennials. We'll start working with people who were born after 2000. In three, four years, they're hitting the floor. It's going to be a crazy lot to work with. Uh, so we need to know in terms of how they function. Uh, they don't want to work, they don't associate with one organization, one culture. Uh, they want to date with multiple organizations. So it's the gig economy, what do you want to call it? Uh, and why not? Uh, uh, so we need to organize our solutions keeping that in mind.